Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the next segment of building our own map and what I'm going to be doing here is going through how we can light this map and make it look a little prettier to work with and so it doesn't look so dull and horrible. That way you can also go through and play, actually play the map because when you hit game mode it doesn't show anything because there's no lighting yet and whoops, it switched it to lit. So anyway, we're in unlit right now and what we're going to be doing first is we're going to add some kind of light up here and we're just gonna blow up some kind of static mesh for a light and what we do is here's we'll go and hit light or type in light and it comes up with all these little like crazy lights that they use in Unreal Tournament 3 or what and what not and so what we'll do is we're gonna add a couple different kinds <clears throat> we'll add this one first just over here on the wall it is absolutely tiny oh, it's <laughs> That's so bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to world ac axis reference coordinate quick. I'm gonna throw that around 180 degrees. Let's make blow it up a lot. It actually gives out looks like it's giving off some light and not a lot of light for this tiny little thing. And put that right there. And we can also duplicate it over here. And that'll be fine. Actually, grab that one too and drag, alt drag over to that side, and we'll spin those around 180 degrees. There we go. Bloop, and stick them on the wall. Then I gotta drag them over to line up semi normally with the other ones. <clears throat> so, drag that. And there we go, we got some lights. So on this wall, I'll actually do something different, just so we can experiment with different lighting. I'm actually going to put a big one of these. Eh, it's loading. It's actually a floor light, I think. I'm going to use it for a wall light. I'm actually going to make it huge. Maybe not that big. Actually, yeah, we'll make it that big. Just for effect. It's going to be like the center of this room move it down here so you like walk in and it's like this huge all seeing eye it's like I don't know wait oh, wrong side so let's we'll flip it around quick I even lost track of where we were 180 degrees and ring whoops grab both axes there just that one so ringy ding 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 all the way to over to the other side so and in the wall, that should be good. There we go, perfect. And then we'll do like, yeah, we won't do ceiling lights right now. You guys can if you want, but what we'll do now is show you guys how lighting works. Basically, I'll explain a lot better later. What we have here is an emissive channel in most of these lights. The small ones do. Let me turn the speed up here so I can move around. This one has an emissive channel. As you can see, it it's still lit even though I'm in lit mode and there's no lights in the level and you can see that one too is let me click out in the void here yeah okay so there we go you can see it's like lit but it's not actually lighting any of the map so what we need to do is we need to add lighting to it and the way we go about this is there's a couple ways the easiest simplest way that I always do because this is from machinima and I'm doing random stuff unless I need a specific type of light which I'll talk about later so I just hold down L and click on the ground and boom we have a light and what we gotta do is we gotta make this light be in the position of where the lighting source is so it's gonna be like right here I'm gonna make it so it accurately casts shadows based on how how big this light is and what do you think it's going to cast? So there's a couple different things we got to change on this light. So we'll hit F4, which brings up the properties menu. And first of all, you see the main thing is that this light has a big light source. So what we got to do is go into the lighting. They, they have a couple different options here. I'll actually go through them quick. So you got the point light component, which deals with like the position and the radius, and the fall off exponent, which is like how much the the light's power fades over how far away it gets from the actual object. Then you have all these options right here. There's just there's just a ton of them. Most of them, these lighting channels, we won't worry about that right now. But most of the time, you want to have cast static shadows. All this stuff will be enabled just fine. 
<clears throat> so what we're going to do first is we're going to change the brightness to about 4. So that'll just kind of show you how powerful it is. And then change the radius to about 600. Whoops, not, not 600, 6,000, sorry. No, 4,000. There we go. So that's pretty much what that light would cast. It's actually giving you a preview right now of what it does. It's actually going to cast a lot more light because it takes light mass into account. And that is how much light is going to be bouncing off these surfaces and lighting up the other sides of the room. Because if you light a candle in the dark and set it on the ground, it doesn't, it doesn't like stop there. It kind of lights up a couple other surfaces depending on how like much it reflects off of stuff. So... What you got to do now <clears throat> is we got the brightness up. We want to change the light color to match it, which it already is, so it's pretty easy. Maybe a little bit blue. Just give it a little bit blue on the color wheel. Uh, that should be good. So it's like a bluish white light. And what we can do now is we're going to close out of this. And as you can see, it's kind of giving you a preview of what it's going to what it's going to light up. It'll actually do a lot more than that. And before we rebuild the lighting, we're going to go up to these ones and turn the lighting off quick. And remember, just hold L and click where you want the light and it's going to show up. So we'll go back to lit mode quick. <clears throat> so put this one like right, not inside of it. You can't put it inside of it because it'll just cast a weird shadow. Actually, you know what? That's a good thing. I didn't know you could do that. Nice, because it's probably like the texture on the light bulb. So, <clears throat> what we'll do now is for these ones, we got to give them a little more. So we'll just say 2,000, and we got to change the light color to a more yellowish kind of color. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we got our light in that one, and you can actually alt drag lights like any other thing. Just drag it over to this other one. Put it inside there, and we'll just grab that one too. And Alt drag. No, no, no. Over to these ones. I think. Oh, that shows that I didn't have those lined up very well. Wonderful. So there we go. We got all the lighting, all the basic lights placed in the map. And the next step now, before we can actually see it in game, like when we click right play, play from here loads it up we see that because it gives us the little error message in the top right I mean the top left that says lighting needs to be rebuilt so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and hit the lighting button we, we can either do that or hit the build all which we'll do because it'll build the path and cover node so we'll hit build all quick and what that'll do is that'll bring it into what's called swarm so don't be care care I mean don't be scared if swarm tries to access your computer it's standard it'll bring it up I'm waiting for it right now. So it builds what are called light maps on the scene. And these light maps are built in shadows that are pre calculated so your map can run a lot better. And it's, I don't know how long this is going to take. What do I have it on? Okay, it's still in preview. Shouldn't take too long. So what that's doing is just calculating it, shoots out everything, and like calculates the shadows and stuff. I'll talk about dynamic lighting a lot later. And that's usually for like skeletal meshes and stuff, so I wouldn't worry about that now. So this is all you need to do, just build the lighting, just hit build all, and it'll open up swarm and run the light mass, and we'll just wait for this to finish quick. And come on, come on, come on, come on. It's almost done. 98.82. <clears throat> just calculating a few more things, and it should be running... So it opens up Swarm, there we go, and then it's encoding the light maps, and there we go. And don't worry, ever worry about these messages, especially for Machinima. It's not a big deal, just close out of those. And as you can see right now, we got all these lights that have just been placed in the level that light up. That actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. See, that one's illuminating all that, and those ones are up there. And you can see the different colors, and... That actually turned out really good. I didn't think it worked that well the first time. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic lighting. I mean, if you want to add more lighting meshes, just remember to hit L and then click down and you'll make a new, new light. 
which I did right there. You can't see it though because it's in game mode. So, and always remember though one thing. I'll talk about this later more, but whenever you're working with lighting, whenever you move a static mesh after you've rebuilt the lighting, it's gonna need rebuilt again. Every time you move a light that you've rebuilt already, it's gonna need rebuilt again. So it's usually wise not to build lighting until very last and just work it on lit mode. So remember that it's very important. Just be careful because if you rebuild lighting, you wait like wait like an hour on this huge map, and then you go in and accidentally bump a static mesh, you have to rebuild again. It's kind of dumb. I, actually, you know, with one static mesh, I don't think it's a big deal. Right there, I just placed another light, so it's said it needs rebuilt again. So I wouldn't worry about it too much, though. So that's pretty much basic lighting. Now we're gonna go through. I'm actually gonna go through off this tutorial and add a bunch of random static meshes to fill up the room. You guys can do the same, add whatever you want that you can find in the content browser. Just go to static meshes and you know just run through them all, just add stuff. Make it look cool and when we get back we're going to, that's pretty much it for building the map and what we'll do then is setting up the map for filming and getting the actors in and ready to go. So stay tuned uh, I know I'm not covering too much right now but what we can do what you can do later is just come back and reference this after I've talked about a lot of specific things and so yeah thanks for joining and I will see you next episode or next tutorial whatever they're called I don't